Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Thanksgiving, a happy belated Thanksgiving. This is Craig Perra from the Mindful Habits System and the proud new owner of Feed the Right Wolf. I'll tell you a little bit about that later. Um, a great website that helps people struggling with compulsive sexual behavior. It's been a while. Um, thank you for your patience. It's been absolutely insane here since we've last talked. I've been on TV. I lived with a porn star on Lifetime's Living with the Enemy and um, just got back from Disneyland, had an amazing time. And I'm really looking forward in 2016 and really starting now, getting back into the swing of doing these podcasts. Sometimes they're going to be me. Sometimes they're going to be Michelle. Sometimes it's going to be us together. But we found with her being a mom, running the business, working with her clients, and all the things that we have to do as we've now grown to working with people in 22 countries worldwide. I mean, just... <laughs> I want to think about that for a second. But anyway, today I want to talk about a recent event that's been in the news. Porn's golden boy, James Dean, has been accused of sexual assault by three porn stars. At least three have come forward so far. So I want to talk about that. Welcome to Sex Addictions and Porn Afflictions. And today we're going to be talking about violence and porn. Yo. This one goes out to sex afflictions and addictions. Oh, yeah. We tell you how to survive and thrive, to restore intimacy and love to your life, to overcome porn and sex addiction. Ain't no easy task, man. It's a mission. But tune in and take a listen, and we'll teach you how to get back to living. Responsibility and integrity. For that mindfulness and positive energy, tune in to Sex Afflictions and Addictions at Spreaker.com slash user slash sex addiction. All right, all right, everybody, so privileged and honored that you are here listening to me. What an amazing journey it's been. So grateful to have you um, as part of our lives, and uh, thank you for listening to this podcast. What I want to talk about today is there has been a major, major, major shockwave that has hit the porn industry. Porn's golden boy, James Dean. Um, and, and, and let me just put this in perspective, right? So there's an article. Um, here's what the UK Independent had to say. So James Dean is one of the most famous porn stars ever. And here's what the Independent had to say about him. And he has been accused of sexual assault by three um, people that he's worked with. And here, here's what the Independent had to say. Just to put this in perspective, if you haven't been paying attention to the porn industry lately, it's important to understand that Dean is not your stereotypical star. Over his 11-year career, Dean has emerged as the unlikely darling of the industry. The kind of slender, sensitive guy you'd expect to see in a boy band, rather an X-rated film. His boy-next-door vibe and pro-feminist persona helped him capture the intention and imagination of women of all ages and launched him before a wider audience. He starred alongside Lindsay Lohan in Paul Schrader's 2013 film The Canyons, frequently shared his thoughts on consent and diversity in porn with popular media outlets. And he actually authored a sex-positive advice column for a progressive woman's lifestyle magazine. So this isn't just anybody. This isn't just anybody. And so what I wanted to talk about today was beyond just putting this in perspective, right? Because when I'm working with somebody one-on-one, -on -one, and we've just started our dance together, one of the first questions I ask them is, what are you watching? Now, I remember when I was asked that question, and I said, well, porn. No, no, no. no. What kind of porn? What have you eroticized? What is pushing your buttons? Where has your porn use progressed to? Right, because as you know, you can't watch even as great as a movie as Star Wars is. 
eventually it kind of gets boring. No, wait, wait, I think I just committed some kind of a sin there. But you can't watch it every day. You've got to watch something else. Right? And so with pornography, the same things don't get you off anymore. And so what happens is, is that um, you, like me, I'll speak for myself, began to watch more graphic and more hardcore scenes. And the majority of those scenes depicted sexual violence towards women. So I want you now to reflect upon, <coughs> and I'm fighting a cold, pardon me for that, reflect upon what you're watching. What have you eroticized? And there is so much sexual violence in pornography. Feminist author Gail Dines, in an interview that she did, he described a few of the acts depicted in mainstream pornography. Now listen, for you guys who've been watching porn for decades, I have no doubt that you have seen and eroticized possibly some of these acts. Vaginal, anal, and oral penetration of a woman by three or more men at the same time. That's standard fare, brothers and sisters. Commonplace. Double anal in which a woman is penetrated anally by two men at the same time. Guess what, brothers? Triple anal is now a thing. Triple anal. Don't Google it. Triple anal is now a thing. What more can we do to objectify these women? How far can we push them? Porn has become a circus. It's a freak show. Double vagina, in which a woman is penetrated vaginally by two men at the same time. Gagging, common, come on, who hasn't seen this? In which a woman has a penis thrust so far down her throat, she gags, and in the more extreme cases, vomits. ATM, ass to mouth, in which a penis goes from a woman's anus to her mouth without washing. So, this is according to Gail Dines, and it feels more comfortable reading in it than it does saying it. i got to be honest with you guys. Like, this is what I used to watch. I'm not proud of it, but I think it's very, very important for all of you to reflect upon what have you eroticized. What is pushing that most powerful button inside you? At that moment of orgasm and climax, what are you fantasizing about? And so when we see prolific violence in the medium, in the result, pornography, is there any surprise that behind the scenes, this violence continues? I don't think there is. So what do we know so far? We know that three adult film actresses have accused porn's golden boy, James Dean, of sexual assault and rape. And you know, listen, my violence and porn for me started when I when I watched it. When I watched it. But here's here's where it came home for me. Um, when I actually spoke to someone who was the victim of off set, off camera violence and pornography. And that's an interview that I did with Jesse Rogers. She's a former adult actress. Insanely powerful. And the reason why I'm saying this is, one, I want you to have acute and powerful awareness as to what you're watching. The word porn is a misnomer. It covers everything from your harder erotica to graphic, 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 hardcore pornography that may even violate the, uh, the law. Right? When you think of Max Hardcore, who was criminally prosecuted for the production of his hardcore graphic exploitive type pornography. So there's the spectrum of using this word porn. I hate it. It's too broad. It's too broad. It doesn't allow us to focus on the content that is most impactful to society and most impactful to you. The man or the woman, whoever it is, right? We've got so many more women reaching out to me now saying, I am struggling too. I am struggling too. So when I interviewed Jesse Rogers, she, let, she had left the porn industry. Um, Jesse Rogers participated in some of the more graphic, hardcore scenes for a production studio called, I think it's Vice. 
anyway, forget the name, but a hard, you know, really the hardcore graphic pornography where they love to blur the lines of consent. It is predator and it is prey. Women are to be taken and to be violated. Okay, and Jesse Rogers had participated in some of that. And um, in our interview, we talked about why she left the industry. Right? One, it was a syphilis outbreak where a leading man, long-term, long-term porn veteran, lied about his test results and continued to have sex. So here we've got another icon, at least in the industry, lying about his test results so he can get paid, exposing people to risk of catching a communicable disease. Think about that, right? And then now we get on this side. Recently, we've seen three porn stars have come out and accused James Dean of sexual assault. But here's what she said to me. Now, here, we don't know who she's talking about. All she says is that it was a veteran male performer who violently raped and almost killed her. Here's what she said. Here's a summary. And you can check this out on Feed the Right Wolf or on my YouTube channel. Um, you can watch the video. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Thank you for your... Ah. Anyway, he just slapped me. And I fell. And my ears were ringing because he slapped me so hard. Think about that for a second. right? This isn't a playful slap. When your ears are ringing, you got clocked. You guys know it, and I do. He started banging my head on the floor, and my face started bleeding. He kept beating me, basically. He choked me out twice to the point of passing out, making me look at myself in the mirror with blood all over my face. He spit on his hand and put the spit all over my face, and he continued to F me like that. He put my head inside of his toilet. Every time I tried to come up for air, he would not allow me to come up for air. I thought I was going to die. And so it was this combination, this event in combination with others, the, 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 the uh, STD outbreak in the industry, and her finding herself um, that caused her to leave the industry. And for me, that was a really, really powerful moment because now I'm talking to somebody. Like this isn't just what happens on the screen, right? When these, when that camera stops rolling, like these people have to go back to their lives. They've got to function somehow in society. And so here we've got this level of violence that's being regularly depicted on camera. There's absolutely no surprise that it is bleeds off camera. You know, and so you get to ask yourself, right, is this an this industry? that's perpetuating sexual violence towards women on camera. And now we've got an icon in the industry accused of perpetuating sexual violence off camera. You have to ask yourself, brothers and sisters, is this an industry that you want to support? Is this a harmless hobby that doesn't hurt anyone? Now, you better know the answer to this question by now, particularly if you've been listening to us for a while. Think about that. What about this, right? You guys, I hear this all the time from my sex positive colleagues. This industry is healthy. It's sex, sexual positive. It's liberating. It's freeing us from the shackles of sexual repression. That is such absolute bullshit. Now, 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 can we, can we step back without judgment and say, are there genres of pornography that are growing green porn, female produced porn, porn that has a strict code of conduct? with their actors, where the talent is getting back pay, getting, getting you know, some form of benefits. Don't remember, guys, they're all independent contractors. There's no benefit for these people doing these sexual gymnastics for your pleasure. They get paid. They don't get any, until they become a superstar, they don't touch any, 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 any revenue based upon the sales of their product, right? They get a one-time fee. So, so, but, but, so, so there is, <coughs> yowza, a movement in pornography um, that's growing because of this violence. There's been a backlash. So, Dr. Cindy Gallup um, created a, uh, a website where people are, um, where, where couples, intimate couples are sharing their erotic videos, right? And 
So, so, but when we look at this particular genre of pornography, which is so prevalent in all the free tube sites, um, and it's so prevalent in the work that I do with, with guys. Now, I now work with guys in 22 countries, all different cultural, social, economic, religious backgrounds. And, and so many of the guys become hooked on this junk. Right? And it changes the way you see people. You know, it changes the way you see women. And, and I think that's impactful. I know that that's impactful. So, so, you know, is this an industry that perpetuates the sexual objectification and abuse of women for profit? I want you to be an educated consumer. And think about this. If this is happening with performers from the well-funded, popular, successful porn production companies, what's happening in the rest of the industry? The illusion continues to shatter brothers and sisters. And has your illusion shattered yet? Or are you still supporting an industry? Go pick up a pack of cigarettes. Support tobacco. Right? Is this an industry that you want to support? Ask yourself, is what I'm watching making me a better man or a better woman? That's a fair question. Is this making me better? <clears throat> is this enriching me? Is this making my sex life better? Am I performing better? Am I able to please my partner better? Is it making me a better lover? Think about that for a second. Is the porn that you're watching, male or female, making you a better lover? And if the answer is no, then you must take action to free yourself from the shackles of porn addiction. And you have to start feeding the right wolf inside you. Wake up, brothers and sisters, and reclaim the power of your sexual energy. Question everything. Unplug from the matrix. And pay very careful attention to what you're watching. Because I have a high degree of confidence that what you're watching isn't making you a better human being. Remember, brothers and sisters, embrace your power of choice. And if you need help, if you are struggling, I now have workbooks and CDs, an online program. I still work with a few limited number of people one-on-one. -on -one. There is no excuse for not getting help now. We've got something for you at any price point. Any price point. Oh, yeah, and free. Free Facebook support group. On SoundCloud, I have the first 10 tracks from my audio series, which you can buy on iTunes. And don't forget to download the app. Peace and love, brothers. We'll see you next time. Maybe it'll be me. Maybe it'll be Michelle. Maybe it'll be the two of us together. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey. Happy Thanksgiving for my friends in the U.S. Happy holidays to everybody else. Embrace your power of choice. And remember, the actions you take is the life you make. Peace out. Yo, this one goes out to sex, afflictions, and addictions. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We tell, we you, tell how you how to survive, to survive and thrive. thrive. Restore intimacy and love to your life. To overcome porn and sex addiction. Ain't no easy task, man. It's a mission. But tune in. And I think take what I should do is I should edit it, and send it to Aaron to put the song in. Living. Responsibility and integrity. For that mindfulness and positive energy, tune in to Sex Afflictions and Addictions at Spreaker.com slash user slash sex addiction.